All right, everybody, it's week 19. Welcome back to my garage. All right, have you ever driven by somebody's house and they have a basketball goal set up in their driveway? Or maybe they have a lacrosse goal in their front yard with that fake goalie and there's like a spot here and, a, and here and here uh, that's open that uh, whoever's practicing can try to get in those small spots. You know, you drive past those places and you're like, well, that person obviously plays lacrosse or that person plays basketball. And the idea, right, with practice is the more that you remain outside practicing on those goals, the better you're going to get at the game. I wonder if, that, if that's what Jesus was getting at when he was talking to his disciples. And he said, remain in me as I remain in you. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every branch that remains in me bears much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. He just isn't being mean there. He's just saying, look, if a branch isn't attached to the vine, it's not going to bear any fruit. If you never pick up a lacrosse stick, you're not going to be able to play lacrosse. If you never, or we can talk about art. If you never pick up a violin, you're not going to be able to play violin. If you never practice listening to the voice of God through prayer and scripture, then you're not going to be able to recognize God's voice when God speaks. The good news is that our faith is not uh, a set of skills we practice, but a person we get to know. That our faith is about abiding in Christ Jesus, about getting to know Christ, about being in relationship with God through Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul writes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's not talking about I can succeed because of Christ in my life. No, he's saying that the fruit of the Spirit will be born in my life as I remain attached to the vine that is Christ Jesus. That even in a world where there's hate, that the Holy Spirit will produce in my life love, joy in the midst of sadness, and peace even in pandemic. So my challenge to you this week is to practice your faith. Practice listening for the voice of God through prayer and scripture Pray with each other. Practice your faith in a way that if someone drove by your life, that would be able to recognize, just like you can recognize a lacrosse goal in someone's front yard, that that person, that person loves Jesus. We're going to continue to do all the things we've been doing. We're doing our uh, Bible studies, socially distanced. We're doing our socially distanced activities, wearing masks, taking temperatures, all those things. And worship is open 8.30 and 11 in the sanctuary at church come together as a family and worship God. Remember, God's up to something. Practice being a part of it.